Something I don't get asked too often is how to handle a mechanical seal. My intention here is to just show you how to handle them and how to keep these faces here, these sealing faces, how to keep those in order. It's not my intention to show you how to fit them because there's so many different machines you can fit these into. I couldn't possibly show you every one. It's just a case now of showing you how I handle them. And you'll find that looking after them at this stage, in this way, will actually prolong the life of these seals and hopefully give you many more years of service. There are different types, different sizes, but I'll just show you in general. Well, I'll start by putting a nice rag out on the bench so that no debris can get near the seal. And inside the box, it should be well protected. This particular one is out of a water pump, but obviously they've got many applications on different machinery. After I've unwrapped it, I try not to handle it too much. We've got the first part here, and it's this face here we've got to avoid touching. We've got the second face here, obviously you have to avoid touching. And it's them two faces that run along each other like that. A lot of people in the past have told me to avoid touching these faces because of getting grease off your fingers onto the faces. I'd say it's less about that and more about putting debris on there. If there's any small pieces of grit we can't see etc. That would rub into that seal and score it and then break the seal over time. It's difficult to see any debris on the seal, but a tip I use is to get it and shine it so that the light above you shines back and then you can really see if there's anything small on the seal, anything tiny, and that looks okay. And if we do it to the next one, that looks fine. This is the static half of the seal, and this is the rotating half of the seal. And what we're looking for on these surfaces when we check them, when we take them out of the box, obviously we're looking for any obvious signs of debris, but we're also looking for any pitting or any cracks or any sign of damage anywhere. It's best to just check that, make sure it's checked fully. If you do find any cracks or damage on these, then they can't be used by the way. These two faces won't form a perfect seal. If they were to be fitted even with very small cracks or any small pitting, it will only cause problems later. It certainly won't cause a, a perfect seal for long. That's if it allows a perfect seal at all. But if there is anything on these faces or you get something on there by mistake, it's no problem, we can soon get it off. And the way I do it is, I get a nice clean piece of cloth and some degreasant on the end of the cloth. So just some normal degreasant like brake cleaner. And I get the mechanical seal and I clean it, just go over it like that. And that's absolutely fine. That is crystal clear now. Absolutely clean, brilliant. Of course, as I've said, there's different types of mechanical seals that fit in different types of machinery. And I couldn't possibly show you all of them right now. I just wanted to show you how to handle one. One 